Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today we are going to take a few minutes to do another print and cut video where we are adding pictures or a picture to words, and then we're going to slice it so that it looks like the picture is inside the words, and then we're going to put that picture onto a shirt. Before we do all of that, please like, subscribe, hit the bell um, so that you can get all of the latest notifications. And as always, thank you for watching. Now let's get started. Okay, so to put an image on, we're going to start, of course, with a new project. From here, I'm going to add some text. And I am adding the word Louisa. Um, I want that text to be have a thickness to it because of us putting slicing a picture into it. So I am going to find a font that is pretty thick. So I'm going to size it to what I want here. So I'm pretty much going to make this an eight and a half by four. So you know you can do it you can either make those measurements by doing what I'm doing now, which is just moving this arrow, unlocking, and then moving this arrow, or you can come up to the top here where it says size, and you can do the same thing by basically typing in eight, 8.5 by four. So, um, but since we already have that here, um that is all we need for that so the next thing i'm going to do is upload an image so i selected this upload icon at the bottom here on the left i'm going to select upload image there and then i'm going to browse for my image my image is on my desktop and there it is town of louisa so i'm going to open that and um, because of all of the different aspects of this, like you can select simple and then you can watch how it changes the um, picture. See how it took out all the color. If I did simple, moderate would look like that. And then complex, which is what I want, would look like that. So I'm going to hit continue um, with that. And then it gives me an opportunity to select and erase things that I do not want in this picture. Um, I'm not going to change anything about the picture. So I'm going to hit continue from here. I can either select save as a print cut image, or I can select, a um, save as a cut image. As you can see, the cut image will give me nothing. So of course I'm going to leave the green box around the save as a print and cut image and hit save. So once I've done that, I'm going to select the image that I just uploaded, and then I'm going to select insert image. So here we have the image. I am going to um, move over so I can grab the end of this image so I can make it smaller. So I am going to make it about the size of my letters, maybe a little bit bigger. So let me move it up some so I can just pull it down here. So let's see where I am. So once I got the image to the size that I want, what I'm going to do is select both. So I'm going to come over here to the corner and then I'm going to grab both images. 
being that it's only two images here it allows me to slice this option is available to me if it wasn't available it would be grayed out like this says with the contour so i'm going to select slice and then what's going to happen is this now has a few different images to it so i still have my louisa i have um, where I could do this and leave the colors of the shirt and just have the outline and just have a square if I wanted to do that or what I'm looking for so I'm gonna delete this because I don't want that one I'm gonna delete this because I don't want that one and then that leaves me with what I do want so now I have Louisa with the background of a Louisa picture in it so in addition to that, I'm going to put down here my hometown. So that will be, um, actually, I'm going to change that. So I'm going to do my, and then I'm going to do hometown in a different font. So. So I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to change the font of So this is what the shirt would look like. So from here, these two pieces are going to print um, in vinyl and then this piece will be a print and cut so and just for anybody who normally ask um, the font used for the louisa and for the my is the collegiate black flf um, and then the font used for hometown is chalk com light so i've gotten fonts from different places so i honestly can't tell you where that came from um, whether it's a preloaded thing or whether it's something between my Photoshop um, software that I've gotten from that. So anyways, that's that. From here, you would hit make it. And then you have two mats. You have a mat that's going to have your print and cut. And you're going to have a mat that's going to have your vinyl. So your mat that has your vinyl, you're going to want to mirror. And then I like for it to be in the correct order. So I can just put it on the shirt. So you would mirror that one and then Louisa is fine. Um, so from here you would hit continue. It is looking for my machine, which is not connected as usual. Um, but once I connect the machine, it's going to have me send it to the printer which I will do and then we'll go from there okay so from here we've now connected to the machine now we're going to browse so that we can get the right paper so I'm just going to type in printable here oh there we go so then you see all of these options come up. I am looking for the printable iron on dark. So I'm going to select that, hit done. And from here, I'm checking the pressure. And I got to put it on the right thing because it's like, I'm like waiting for it to say print. So number one, print. So we're going to go ahead and send that to the printer. And right now my sawgrass printer is selected. So we're going to go ahead and select my other printer here. And I'm going to leave the bleed on. And so now that it has um, printed and cut the printable, it goes to the next mat where we're going to print the my hometown. Okay, so I just need to clear up two questions that I get a lot. 
One is the type of printer that I have. I have HP and Canon printers here. Whatever printer that you have, if it's an inkjet printer that prints paper, it's fine. So whatever printer you have, your Cricut does not print. Um, I get that question every once in a while. Your, print, your Cricut does not print, but you need a printer. That printer, um, whatever type it is, will print what you need. Um, from there, this, the, mo the question that I get the absolute most is the type of paper that I am using when I am doing a print and cut picture. So, just so you know, the one that I use the most, and this will be down in the description box, is Silhouette, Silhouette Printable Heat Transfer Dark. Um, I've tried the light. I don't care for the light. I had an issue the one time I did try it, so I've never gone back to it. I, don't, I guess I need to be a little more forgiven and try it again, but I have it. So Silhouette Printable Heat Transfer Dark is what I normally use. That doesn't mean that this is the only thing that you can use. Um, like I said, this will be in the description box, but I have in a crunch gone to the local craft store and used whatever that they had. I've used this dark shirt transfer paper is going to put that picture that you need to put on a shirt. So generic silhouette Cricut, whatever the brand is, these are just the brands that I use. It's not a necessary thing that you have to use. You just need to find some dark transfer heat transfer paper vinyl. So there you go. So that is that. I hope that answers all your questions. If not, you know, you can leave them below. I'm going to answer every time. All right. So now let's get on to the rest of this process. Okay. So the next step in this process, I just want you to see that the, my printer is printing out the image. So once the image is printed out, I load that image to a mat um, and then we're going to load that mat inside of the Cricut. The Cricut will then search for the image through that black box and then it will cut out each individual letter. So that is just one of the things that you have to be beware of. If your image is not welded together, you're going to have to deal with finding that image on your shirt or not finding it but making sure it's straight on your shirt so as you can see i then load in my green vinyl and i also load in some yellow vinyl for the my and the my for the my and the hometown once that is completed i then move on to um, adding my heat press pillow, which I will have below in the description box. I have those in a few sizes, but I load that in between the shirt um, so that I can start preparing the shirt. The one way that I do prepare it is to, um, like I said, just flatten it out, make sure it's straight, figure out about where my um, design is going to go. I normally go three to four inches down, which is why you saw me do that with my hand. Um, from there, then I normally run my heat press over the shirt once or twice just to straighten <laughs> that my Louisa isn't crooked and going to the side. So I use that ruler to kind of help me um, guide where those letters should be. So um, you don't really have to do this step of cutting out um, the letters. For me, that's just more of a help me gauge where each letter should go. So that's why I cut those extra pieces off. And then as you can see, I'm using my measuring tape to help me locate where each of those um, pieces should start and end um, so that I am on the right track with that. So once I figure that all out again, I use my ruler to kind of help me figure out that and in this particular case which is not necessarily going to be in your case with what you're doing this is about like I said a little over three inches down and it is about six and a quarter inches on each side that is um, that's the white space on each side of the word Louisa so um, like I said you'll see me just go through this process really quickly I tape down my um, ruler just so that it won't move on me and then I will slowly start um, 
weeding those letters and adding them into the space that I think they should go. So uh, I'm just going to let you see that process as I go through it. And then once I've done that, I'm of course going to add a sheet, um, which comes actually in the pack for the heat transfer vinyl. They have these little, um, I want to say almost like tissue paper type sheets in there along with the, with the um, heat, heat transfer vinyl so that you can cover it. So you're going to cover that and you'll see that here in a minute. You're going to cover um, those letters with that sheet just to help preserve it. And then you're going to um, heat press it. My heat press is set for 305 degrees for 20 seconds. So while I'm doing all of this, my heat press is warming up so that it is ready um, when I finish putting everything down the way that I want it. So um, I think that's pretty much all the information that you need. So I'm just going to let you watch this to the end. As always, you know, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The reason I'm doing this video is because someone had questions. So if you have questions, please, by all means, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will answer those questions as soon as possible. Make a video if I can. I'll do that as well. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and this process and it helps you do what you're trying to do. Um, and again, like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and I'll see you all the next time.